After countless experiments with the untouchable Flux model, I have discovered something no one in the AI community is talking about. A method that relies on the open pose control net for consistent characters. And by the end of this, I'll reveal two techniques for enhancing facial details that I bet even the best models seem to overlook. Firstly, go to the Hugging Face page by Shaker Labs. I'll be using the ControlNet Junior model from the page, which provides seven ControlNet modes in one ControlNet model. So to get the model, go to Files and Versions, download the model here. I'll save this into the Comfy UI directory under Model. Go to ControlNet folder. I have created a folder here as Flask, and I've renamed the model to make it easier to recognize. So you guys can also go ahead to do the same. So back into Comfy UI, I have the workflow here. So I'm going to clear this workflow, which we are going to re build from scratch. To begin, go to the manager, click on custom nodes manager, come up here to the search box and type control net. Make sure you have the auxiliary preprocessor extension installed or click the try update to make sure you are using the latest version of the preprocessors. Uh, once you are done, come down here and close, then click update to update all your nodes. Once this is done, I'll minimize the terminal here. Then I'm going to restart Comfy UI. Let's start with the Flux nodes for controlling it. I'm going to right click on the canvas, add node, come down to image, then select load image. I'll drag and drop my chosen reference image into the node here. Right click again, add a node, go down to control net preprocessors and I'll choose the aux preprocessor. So this gives me the option to use a single node with a variety of options to select any preprocessors. So I'll select the DW preprocessor from the list here. I'll set the resolution to 832 since that is the same size as the reference image. Next, I'll right click again to add a third node, go to conditioning, select control net, then we have the control net apply SD3. Make sure you have updated Comfy UI before you get to see this node. So connect the load image node to the preprocessor and then this goes into the control net apply node. Moving on, I'm going to right click from here. I'll go to loaders then I'll select the load control net model. I'll click the model name and then I'll select the Flux Union Pro model we downloaded earlier. So remember how you rename this for you to easily identify it from your list. Connect this to the control net apply SD3 node. Then I'll also lower the strength here to 0.5. I'll drag this out from the preprocessor. Then I'll select save image and this will help us to view the open pose result. So I'll move up here and then click Q prompt. All right, so this is good. All the poses are in the right positions from our reference image and control net. I'll go ahead to right click here again. I'll add a group. I'll drag this out to put all of the nodes into a group. Then I'll rename this to control net. I'll zoom out from here and let's create a simple text to image workflow which will be using the Flux Dev model. So I'll right click to add a node, go to loaders, then select load checkpoint. I'm going to change the checkpoint name, scrolling down here, then I'll select the Flux Dev 1 model FP8. I'll drag the clip model out, select clip text and code. Hold Alt and drag the node down to make a duplicate. And I'll change the color here to green for the positive prompt. And for the second node, I'll change the color to red for a negative prompt. Also drag the clip into the negative prompt as well. I'll right click to add another node, go to sampling, then select K sampler. Connect the positive into the K sampler, then the negative node as well goes into the K sampler. I'll drag from the checkpoint node here, then use reroute into the K sampler. We need an image size, so go to latent here, then select empty latent image. Drag this into the K sampler. I'll pan to the side, then drag this out from the K sampler, select VAE decode. Then we drag this out again, then select save image to see our image generation. I'll zoom out from here. I'll drag this down and then reroute it so there are no hidden connections into the VAE decode node. From here, all is good to go. So let's generate our character using Flux and the text to image workflow. I'll zoom into the text node. I'll type the character I want to see here, which will be a chef octopus in different poses and angles. I want the front view, side view with a kitchen background. So I'm going to collapse the negative prompt here since this will not affect Flux in any way. 
I'll come down to the image size. I'll change the width here to 1216 and also the height to 832. Next, I'll move to the K sampler. I'll use a random number for the seed. We set this to be fixed. I'll leave the steps at 20 steps. Make sure the CFG is set to 1 since we are not using the negative prompt. Then I'll change the scheduler here to simple. Let's see what Flux is going to generate for our character. So I'll go up here and hit Q prompt. Alright, so we get this from Flux and if you guys noticed, I did not include the Flux guidance node but the outcome is still impressive. We have the character from our prompt. I like the texture and the quality but we can notice we do not have control over the character's posing style or the number of positions we want. Let's see how we can fix this with a control net group and our reference image. Let's zoom out of here then put all the nodes into a second group. I'll go ahead, rename this to text to image. Then I'll change the color to yellow. We can see we have two separate workflows. So let's join this up. I'm going to disconnect the positive node, which goes into the positive control net apply node. Also, I'll disconnect the negative here, which goes into the negative here as well. The node here requires a VA input. So we use the same VA model, which joins into the apply control net node. After this, we drag the positive and the negative node here into the K sampler. And this is all we need to combine the two workflows. So let's see what happens using the open pose model and flux to influence the prompt similar to our reference image. All right, so we now have something decent from what I was expecting as our character compared to our previous image. We can see the chef is in multiple views and different poses by the control net reference image. And so far this is good, but I'm having a little tiny problem. When I zoom in on the face, we can see that the image resolution is very low and missing a lot of facial details. So I'm going to zoom out from here and to solve this, First of all, let's go here to the manager, come down to custom notes manager. We search for impact pack and click to install if you don't have this yet or use the try update to make sure you are using the latest version. And close from here, go to the model manager, search for YOLO. This model is required for the face detailer node which we will be using. So go ahead to install either the 8M or the 8S versions which works well. Close from here, back to the workflow, I'll move to the side to use the detailer node. So right click to add a node, go to impact pack, select simple, then we have the face detailer node. To connect this, drag the VAE decode into the image of the face detailer node. I'll drag the checkpoint into the model here. Next, drag the clip into the clip input. The VAE also goes from here into the VAE. Now the positive links into the positive and the negative also connects into the negative input. Next, I'll double click, type in Ultra and this should show up as the Ultralytics Detector Provider. I'll click here and choose Face Yellow 8M. Then I'll drag this to connect into the B box detector input. Also, let us input the right settings to get the best results. I'm going to change the seed here to 12, similar to the K sampler we used. I'll change this to fixed. Make sure down here you are using the settings to match up similar to the K sampler. Lower the denoising strength so the image does not change much. Move down here and I'll change the sandbox expansion to 12. In the prompt box, this is optional, but you can also include a few words to modify the face. So I'll zoom out of here, I'll drag this out, then select save image. Let's go ahead to Q prompt once again to see how flux and the face detailer improves the face details of the image we have so far. All right, so this is all done once again, and I'm going to compare this to the first generation to see how the face detailer has improved this. We can all notice a better improvement, obviously with the eyes. Also the nose and the lips are looking good now, but I think we are still missing some details which we can still include. So I'm going to zoom out from here. I'll add a group, place all these notes into a group. I'll rename this to face detailer. Next, I'm going to move to the side and let's double click here. Then I'll type ultimate. Select the ultimate SD upscaler here. 
then we need the upscale model so drag this out down here select the upscale model loader for the model i'll select 4x ultra sharp and let's link the image from the face detailer node into the sd upscaler node connect all the nodes similar to what we did for the face detailer node so my model goes here my positive as well and the negative also goes in here then the flags vae model goes into the vae input now let's change the settings as well for the upscaler to get the best output once again match the k sampler settings i'll keep the denoising strength very low change the width and the height to the same settings as the latent image size up here i'll upscale this by four but you guys can keep this at two if you are using a low vram i'll zoom out drag out select save image i'll group these notes as well Go up here and Q prompt and let's see the flux, phase detailer and ultimate upscale results. Alright, we have the upscaled resolution here. Let's go ahead to compare to see the improvements. I'll drag over the first generation. You can use the compare node to also do this and I'll link a helpful video in the description. We can notice a huge difference here by using the upscaler node. His eyes are so visible now and all the many details we have recovered by upgrading the workflow. So depending on the reference image, make sure the faces are not too small from your open pose image when you want multiple views. I had similar results after experimenting with other prompts. The technique is endless considering all the characters you can generate by the combination of the flux model, control net, ultimate sd upscaler and face detailer remember to leave a like as always i hope this was helpful to you guys play around with more seeds to find what gives you the best results which i realized and i hope you guys can use this in your own way to come up with some unique results if you are still interested to get an in-depth explanation of how to use flux and upscaling techniques to improve your images you can view this video on your screen now and i'll see you guys in the next one